Hi everybody, today we're going to take a look at how to photograph butterflies and moths for LepiMap, the Atlas of African Lepidoptera. So first thing you need of course is a camera and you can use uh, any type of camera your, from your cell phone, a point and shoot to uh, DSLR. Uh, if you've got a macro lens that's awesome um, but it's not a necessity. Um, if you can get a good enough photograph where we can identify the species, then that's great. Um, obviously, if you've got a macro lens, that really helps to get nice detail of the patterning on the wings and all of that kind of thing. Um, but any, any photo is valuable. Then next, go find some butterflies and moths. Um, some tips. Butterflies are active during the day um, and they're most active at midday or early afternoon, which is usually, you know, the hottest part of the day. So the warmer it is, the more active butterflies become. Um, <laughs> the number one rule with butterflies is patience. Patience, patience, patience. It can often be a bit frustrating when you're trying to get a photo and then they just flits off and you can spend hours <laughs> walking around after them but trust me it's all worth it then uh, when it comes to moths it's way easier all you have to do is to keep a light on outside at night and one of your outside lights or you can even if you want to you can put up a, a sheet with a light um, and that will attract the moths they'll come land uh, on your wall or on the sheet and you can photograph them to your heart's content. Um, and you'll be amazed at the different kind of species that you'll be finding. Moths are surprisingly uh, beautiful and because lots of people tend to think they, they just drab and gray, but trust me, they're not. They are the most amazing um, insects. Very, very beautiful colors and patterns. Then some more tips on Photographing your um, butterflies, this, this helps especially with identification in EpiMap, is try and get a, a photograph of the upper wing and the under wing. So a photograph from the top um, and underneath the wings or the bottom. And, uh, um, and also if you can uh, crop your photo in such a way that the, the butterflies or moth is in the center of the photo, helps a lot. Then next is to upload your photos along with the location details to LepiMap in the virtual museum and the URL is displayed on the screen but I'll also post the link underneath this video so just go check there and you can go to the virtual museum. And then yeah congratulations by, by contributing your photos to LepiMap you are an ambassador for biodiversity and you're making your photos count for biodiversity conservation. So well done. <laughs> Thank you. That's it for today.